What's up, JBs? It's me. And I've got a little something something to review for you. So I'm trying a different approach. You know, it's daytime. I'm using natural lighting. And I am going to be reviewing the Pat McGrath Mothership Sublime Bronze Temptation Eyeshadow Palette. This is um, one of the smaller palettes that retails for $55. I got it during the VIB sale. So I saved 20%. And I'm putting together a Thanksgiving face. My family, well, my mom is hosting Thanksgiving. So we're having everybody over here. And I was like, yo, I haven't used this since I came back. Like, I have not used it yet. And um, I bought it while I was in California on vacation. And we're going to, you know, create a, a little look with it. You know, I'm going to start with the eyes first. But before I even get into actually putting my makeup on, I'm going to do a swatch and review. There are three palettes, right? Three of these palettes. And um, I watched a review from um, Kelsey Brianna Jack. And I chose out of those palettes this one based on the swatches and the look that she created, which I thought was really beautiful. Um, I'm gonna post a picture of her right here. I was like, oh my gosh, I really want this palette. So I had went to like three different Sephora's while I was in California. And two of them were JCPenney Sephora's. I was trying my luck, y'all. I mean, I know it's like kind of an upscale area I was in, but they did not have Pat McGrath and no JCPenney Sephora. So I ended up going. I was in San Marcos and I ended up going to San Diego to actually purchase this at um, what's it called UT it's like Universal Town Center UTC and so I got her they had a whole display I wish I recorded it in there but it was really crowded um, because of the sale but they had a whole display of all the Pat McGrath stuff so I actually got to swatch stuff which I hadn't had a chance to do um, I had only seen things on YouTube and reviewed and whatever. So this is my first Pat McGrath product and I'm very impressed, like in love. I'm also in love with those lipsticks, honey. <laughs> like I swatched some of the lipsticks and I was like, I gotta have some of these, these are amazing. But I couldn't find one that didn't look like something I already had in terms of color. So I left them there. But formula wise, honey, whew. I'm actually going to look through my what's left of my collection and pick out things that are expired so that I have an excuse to get some Pat McGrath lipsticks. <laughs> Let's get into look, taking a look at this bad boy. Packaging, very sturdy cardboard packaging. It's got, you know, it's it's a cute weight. It's not too heavy. Um, I think that although this is a less expensive palette, she did not skimp on the quality. Her full size palettes retail for $125, so this is like more affordable, more accessible at $55. You still get all the quality of a Pat McGrath product though. Inside when you open it, there's your six colors. Uh, there's a plastic film that has the names of the colors on it. There's also a very large like a nice size mirror in here you can really use this to do your eye look and you can see your entire face so I'm gonna actually do them upside down right so this is supernova and this is the like star of the palette in my opinion I think these two actually compete but this is my fave because the way it just pops I'm gonna swatch them for you but I'm just gonna gush over them for a second so the next one is burning desire it's a matte this is a really great uh, transition color or a crease color if you're of a fairer complexion. This one here is Celestial, beautiful champagne. Um, I believe this is a duochrome. And uh, if it isn't, then, you know, it's just champagne. But it's a beaut, like the, the color and the shimmer and the, the opacity, like the color payoff is absolutely incredible on these shimmers, man. They're just like, the formula is out of control. Next one is provocative provocatrix pardon me provocatrix uh, a more bronzy um, with a little teeny tiny hint of pink in it uh, kind of shimmer this one here is a um, is called corruption and it is a cranberry shimmer or like a like a Bordeaux meets cranberry it's a very beautiful red 
and then the last one is called Dark Paris Paradise and that is a deep brown matte which I'm going to be using as my crease color so it's going to be the transition right here it's going to be the crease and I am deciding between either red or green for my shimmer lid color and then I will finish off with one of the um, the sort of highlight shades I might use both y'all I don't know I'm feeling real froggy it's the holidays I want to you know really do it up this is gonna be a very glamorous look but for now let's look at those swatches I apologize Auntie Pat you know why because I should have been up on game I should have been by one of your palettes like what you can't even see the damn transition like you can hardly see that transition shade that transition shade was for me she hit me up she, like she had me in mind okay like that's what's happening here look at, look at this look at her this is why bronze seduction was my choice because this is me okay that's that's moi that that is that is your girl I'm going to do my eyes first so you guys can get the demo and then I'm going to put the rest of my look together and come back. I had a request from one of my subscribers to move in closer when I do the eye looks. Shout out to you. I'm going to do my very best to do this for you. So I'm starting off with, um, I, want to, I want like a fully clean base so that you guys can really see these colors. So I am using my NARS Soft Matte Concealer in Caramel. Just on, you know, some cheap ass brush it ain't really nothing. I just want to start with a neutral base basically and I'm not going to set it because I'm going to use the um, transition color to do that. The soft matte um, doesn't really crease on me especially when you use a very thin layer. So I'm going with Burning Desire on my entire lid um, from the crease up. And I'm going to use the mirror because why not? But I'm going to get it nice and close. Oops, I lied. <laughs> this is actually pretty deep. And I'm just using this gigantic Morphe brush to make quick work of this part because I have gigantic hooded lid area. And I just feel like, girl, just get it over with, you know? Take it into the brow a little bit right there. Boom. Just like that. It makes such quick work of that. It looks really good. So that's giving me a, like some warmth, but like a subtle warmth. I, th I think I want to add just a skosh more on this side. Boom. There we go. Yeah, that's a really nice transition shade for me. I'm gonna take another Morphe brush. This one's like a rat tail. I'm not a rat tail. I'm sorry goat hair brush <laughs> and I'm gonna use the um, the crease color the um, dark paradise right here and I'm gonna just take that like deeper into the crease but I'm gonna just tap very slightly you guys I don't want to deepen it too much just yet boom we're gonna start slow because the pigmentation is there and this um, goat hair doesn't deposit as much color than uh, as the synthetic hairs so I'm just getting close so you guys can see I'm gonna go here, start in the middle work my way out this corner and then bring what's left on inward like so windshield wiper there we go boom 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 finish it off with a little, little curve and a flick pow just enough you can still see that other transition shade the big day is coming. The big, big day where we move and have our own place and I have my own YouTube room is coming super soon. Like right after this holiday season, yeah. So please get excited for me. <laughs> because I'm excited. I can't wait to like really have what I need. Finally, I've been talking about this with you guys for years. Of having my own like camera stuff and having backgrounds to work with and having the proper lighting and doing all that stuff so I finally have a career and the ability to really do it these are fantastic I'm already impressed all right y'all we're moving on to um, the shimmer 
and I am still <laughs> I still don't know which one I want to use <laughs> I'm like yeah I want to use that green why don't I use both why can't I use both I'm gonna use both I'm gonna do that one I'm gonna start with my finger first just so I can try it and see and I want to use um corruption I want to use corruption on my lid I think that'll be really beautiful and I'm gonna just do it from the center out to the corner You ain't gotta be. You ain't gotta be that sickening. I got a little on my lower lash line, but that's okay. We're doing the lash, the eyes first for a reason. Wow. Oh my gravy. Oh my word. That is stunning. Oh. And it's giving you all of the duochrome. If you turn your your face, you pack it on. Wow, it's giving me all the duochrome as I turn my face. Can you see that? Like as I, I watch those Pat McGrath videos, the little tutorials on her um, Instagram, and I'm like, it can't be that easy to slay it real fast, but it is. Ooh. Oh girl. So I'm going to finish off with a really small brush like this. This is not intended for your crease. This is actually a detail brush for down here. But I'm going to use it in here because I have very small lids. I'm going to take that same dark paradise color. And this brush is synthetic so this is going to give me a, a deeper payoff. I'm going to start here. Yeah baby. And I'm going to just trace a cute dark transition there but I want to like give myself a little bit of a like cat eye kind of thing yeah. and then just a little dimension and I can always go back in with the um, goat hair brush with no additional product and just blend it out Ew. Ew. so I finished the crease area now remember how I said oh my gosh I want to use both of those shimmers uh, that are kind of golden -y or whatever so I'm going to use that champagne on my brow bone and I'm going to use the more golden one on the inner corner since I have such a small inner inner eye right here I'm going to take this brush right here, which is a concealer brush. It's like a Sephora Pro concealer brush. I'm going to take Provocative. I'm going to be gentle with this right now. Oh, I'm going to just pat it. My baby's up. Lord Jesus, help me. Ooh, there she go. Ooh, hoo, 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 whispering like I'm on Animal Planet. Right now, we're in the Serengeti. <laughs> Chasing the elusive chanteuse. <laughs> we're whispering because this is really intense. <laughs> so, no additional product, right? I go under. Make sure, make sure everything's married. Okay? Make sure it's all married together. Ew. Alright, so I wanted to mention to you guys, I did not use any Fix Plus, any, um, any, what is this stuff called? I was going to use some of this, didn't use any of this. This is, um, the Mixing Medium Base, uh, um, liner base from MAC. I didn't use any Fix Plus to intensify anything. This is just concealer to neutralize my eyelids and then the eyeshadows. I didn't even set the damn concealer. Like, look at this. It's like foolproof. And if this is the payoff without the assistance, imagine the payoff with the assistance. You'll be hitting the girls with blinding light, with flashing lights in the club. 
so that's going to be it for now and then I'm going to go back in with the other two colors I haven't used we're literally using all six colors to create this eye look brows are done I'll clean them up in a moment but essentially the brows are done so since they're done in the area where I need to add the brow bone highlight I'm going to go ahead and do that I'm going to take Celestia right I'm going to take Celestia yeah and I'm going to apply her to my <laughs> brow bone. Okay. Just patting it in. Just patting her in. Not sweeping it because I want that deposit of shimmer. Oh my god, yes. The last step will be the under eye, but I have to do the rest of my makeup, like the concealer area first. So we'll come back to that. I don't want to bore you with it. <laughs> Shout out to Stevie Wonder. So I'm just going to do that. I'm going to do all of this right here and then we'll come back. As we are back, we are back with the eye look. How are we doing? How are we liking it? So I finished the rest of my face, right? Finished it, powdered it, sprayed it, all of that. So we're just working on the lower lash line and adding lashes. And then we're gonna finish the lip. Boom, done. Ready? Let's do it. So now we're gonna use that last shade in the Sublime uh, Bronze Seduction Palette, the color Supernova, to finish off this lower lash line, y'all. And I'm just gonna be using a pencil brush. I am going to be a little more dramatic with it just because, again, this look needs it. And I'm going to be using some really dramatic lashes. Oh, girl. Come on. Look at it. I'm going very slow in applying that. But take a look. Take a look. That just set off them brown eyes, didn't it? Didn't them just pop the hell out my brown eyes? Boom. I'm going to get a little... Get a little shadow happy, y'all. That's my husband in the background, by the way. Say hi, babe. Hi. Oh my gosh. I am gliding this over that liner and it is just setting it off. Like, do you see that? The way that lit it up? Like, the difference? Look at the difference right there. Isn't that insane? This is bomb. Giving the girls life. I'm going to add some more of Celestial. The one that I put up here, I'm going to add it in the inner corner. And I'm actually, I have a detail brush, but I actually want like a lot of something going on right there. So I'm using this gel shadow brush, cream shadow brush. And I'm packing on that Celestial. Because I want her to, I want to smack you in the face with the bling. In an obnoxious ass way. So those are the shadows, you guys. That's the shadow look. Mm. Yes. I'm going to be using the Hourglass Caution Mascara for my upper and lowers. And for the actual lashes, I'm going to be using a collaboration of Eyler and Jasmine Brown. These are called Curly Queen. Very cute. And I'll be back once they're applied. I love these eyelashes. I don't know what the hell took me so long to use them. These are fly. They are space like they're dramatic enough to give to go with the look, but you can still see my eyelids, which is very difficult because I have very small lids. I'm using I think this is uncuffed, uncuffed by Fenty Beauty liquid lipstick, and then I am going over top it with Dior's. What's the name of this? I can't even read that ish. It is Dior's lip gloss. Dior's lip gloss in um, Dior Yves. So that's the look. I'm gonna go finish getting dressed and then I'll be right back for the outro. All right, you guys, here is the finished look. I really like how this turned out. It's so pretty. Ah! This cool Auntie Pad. Listen, girl. Auntie Pad, girl. Auntie Pad. I'm about to start collecting like this was it this was like my intro to Pat McGrath and now I'm obsessed totally obsessed <laughs> it's pretty lit yo like 
This palette is gorgeous. I used every single color to create this look. And it's beautiful. The colors are just like the formula. Just blended right into each other, no problems. Um, these these shimmers, man. These shimmers are banging. Look at that brow bone though. Look at that inner corner though. And the color, like this green, the way it just like popped with that liner. I'm with it. I, I really am very impressed with this palette. And I cannot wait to buy another Pat McGrath palette. Like I can't wait to get into other things for Pat McGrath, like lipsticks and um her liners like I, I saw that she has some uh, gel liners and i can't wait to try those out too so yeah um this is it this is the look i hope you enjoyed it if you did enjoy this review and demo uh definitely give me a thumbs up and in the comment section let me know if you've tried pat mcgrath if you're planning to try pat mcgrath uh what are some of your favorite products from her line and uh yeah what you're thankful for as well go ahead and comment what you're thankful for I'm thankful for this this five-way bra from Kasik. <laughs> I'm about to get out of here and go enjoy Thanksgiving with my family. Uh, if you do celebrate Thanksgiving, happy Thanksgiving to you. Happy Turkey Day, really, right? Happy Turkey Day. Happy Indigenous People Day. That's what it's all about. <laughs> and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.